Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, a safe space in which would be awesome, where uh, we got ourselves a new text document. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Um... Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't say shit like that. <laughs> like, come on. Don't ever threaten to kill yourself because of somebody else. That's just a whole hell of a tub of not being good. Truly really taken back by how calmly Natsuki's addressing it. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, um... Natsuki about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... You alright? What the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Hey... Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it, it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But, but... Mibbles, sailcloth, blind sight, lifeline, anan, receptability... Oh, that's a, that's a fucking mouth. Faultlessly offered sclerumarasinade catholicot. I accept, I accept your apology anyway. It helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something. <laughs> no, no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. I think he turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Yeah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Eh. Hey. Well, my last period today was study hall. As in, I was studying the Hall of Code. To be honest, I was kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano in study hall. Yeah. Piano. I wasn't aware you played piano as well, Monica. And you don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but it's still not really a good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Yeah, well thanks, Yuri. We should play something for us sometime. <laughs> Let's, uh... Monica looks at me. While I'm working, I'm writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. I've been working for the last, like, week and a half. About that, yeah. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yeah, that sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Kiwi. Monica si smiles sweetly, swiping them off of existence. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> well, don't worry. Uh. Excuse me. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. Hey, see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, nah, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, no Suki was already run off into the closet. Kiwi. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood... I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. 
I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave me that after you gave that book to me. I guess I need to make sure that Suki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, so she's fine. She's reading over there, see. Don't think about her so much. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going over there. Okay. That's a new one. Don't recall that happening. <laughs> so what's the story about anyway? Well, um... I'll look at the cover of the book. The book is called Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking ice symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about the religious camp that turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines for lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. No, not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of, uh... It's kind of dark, isn't it? Gary made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so the dark turn came out of fucking nowhere. Ah... <laughs> uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Kiwi? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri was into these things. She's so shy and recluse on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. You know, like a person. It's just that this kind of story... It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. And horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and you're all worthless anyway. And suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest in anything. Even though I sh probably should have. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body just... I kind of pay, forget to pay attention to people. Well, the music went quiet, and then just looped. I thought something would happen, but no. So I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop talking to me if I stop talking too long. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. At least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all, which includes listening. The word listen is in the word literature. Don't look it up. Eh. That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh my god, that startled me. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I'm not immune just because I've been through hell once before. Hell is still hell. <laughs> yeah, no, that startled the hell out of me. Uh. <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book and put my hand... Um, put it... Uh, that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I skip into the seat next to... I slip into the seat next to yours. Ah, uh, yeah. Are you sure? Seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Oh, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means by reading in company. It's as if I can... <sighs> ...feel her pressure over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking for at her own book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. So sorry. 
I was just bad. You're, 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 you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't mean to. Sorry. I mean. <laughs> eh, yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk. And toss up against Yuri's. Then hold my book more between the two of them. Ah, uh, I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her copy. Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It's like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Here takes her left arm. Why is it silent? Why is it silent? Takes um, uh, her left arm and holds the left side of the book under her thumb and forefinger. Ah. I do the same with the right arm and right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides under her thumb and flips to her side. But only like this. We're hardly even closer than before. It's actually kind of distracting. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. You're incredibly hot. And you have purple... You have giant purple hair. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how, but I'll be able to keep her up with her. Ah. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading right. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. You name your reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished this page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. You name the first chapter in silence. See, maybe in the original timeline that was the case, but I get the impression she's not actually reading. She's focused exclusively on being close to you. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost as an intimate exchange. I jump... My jump thently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over, over to her side as she catches it under her thumb. Ah, for the throat. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Hey. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking the way she second guesses things she says and all. Ah, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet yet. So I don't know why that came into my head. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, you feeling all right? Hey. There's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing. She puts her hand to her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, all don't push yourself for nothing. Her stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that? What on earth was that about? Okay, wait. Something happened just now? Eh? I have no idea. You're always acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know what I mean. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about it? Oh, no, not really. I don't worry about anyone around here. Except you. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> oh, Man, I'm getting real because I'm doing like the uh, the the manual slide into the scent for Yuri's voice. So now my throat and the voice are a little wobbly. <laughs> well, I don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Oh, she might be a while, so I figured we'd start get started without her. Is that okay? 
Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip the book back into my bag. Oh, man. Music is great. Love music. Hi again, Kiwi. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Dumb joke, too. As long as it's not going too bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon we'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> well, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. All right. Great job, Kiwi. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. Not sure why, but I didn't expect you to do something so deep. Guess I underestimated you. I'm a real writer in real life, Monica. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> well, that's not fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that you're like that kind of writing, right? Writing full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like it's a bad thing, though. Sometimes I just get the impression that she's totally giving up on people. Yeah, this came out of nowhere, you instigated it, and it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Oh, shit. I double-clicked. Um, which didn't matter. Spend some time in her head that is probably a much more uh, interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really stopped for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawn and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! Oh, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we were just starting to share our poems with each other. Hey, already. I'm sorry for being late. Eh, yeah, I don't need to apologize. So, plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway. Wanna read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't. Bright beautiful colors flashing expanding piercing red blue green an endless cacophony of meaningless noise the noise it won't stop violent grating waveforms squeaking screeching piercing sign cosine tangent like playing a chalkboard on a turntable like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage endless something of meaningless delete her Yeah. <laughs> you ever just uh, do one of those things where things happen and you do them? Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um. Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um. Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. I don't really have any other options. Whoa! <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Should I show my poem to you next? Well, before I do that, I can skip. Before I do that, I'm going to save right there and see what's new on the main menu. Nothing. Cool. Nothing at all. Looking great. Alright, I guess that'll be it for this one. Uh, I was hoping there would be something new, so I, I dropped off a little early, but nope. Anyway, that'll be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, some Kiwi. Great to yourself. A delightful day. I love you all. Goodbye.